What are some really dangerous things most people don't realize are dangerous? Tay product in World War II. And researchers are high to figure out if it had to any health benefits because manufacturers didn't want to waste so many tons of it if there were a profit to be made on it. Some studies on mice and humans have shown it's a neurotoxin and it sure as hell is for me. Years since I had to completely eliminate any exposure to the chemical family of 4i, chlorine and bromine a chlorine substitute in hot tubs. For example, because of how badly I reacted to them. Water current and waterfalls are two to that kill people all the time. Even a gentle looking river can be very deceptive if there's enough water moving along people, cars, etc. Rick currents at the beach. Flash floods. Water seems gentle. But it gives zero FCKS about anything in its path. The top of waterfalls are super deceptive with the combination of powerful current and slippery rocks that look like a beautiful place to grab a picture but they can kill you in an instant. You know how the basic answer is social media. Well, I'd like to up that. A dangerous thing people get into so casually every day is arguing with randoms. It gets addictive, seeing notifs, seeing upvotes or likes, and reposts. Pretty soon, you start postponing work because you have to correct someone or you have to reply ASAP. You lose sleep. You wake up frustrated. You randomly lash out on your loved ones. Maybe even your pet. You develop anger and the tension problems. The amount of bacteria they exchange during their relationships. People should know how harmful STD bacteria are and get tested regularly and see doctors to get professional care or medication. Some bacteria are able to damage your fertility or even cause you more dangerous problems but nobody suspects them because they're not visible and they don't directly attack you. Not to mention, some of them are capable of inviting cancer to your body don't know how but they're capable. There's a newish trend among woodworkers called fractal burning or Lichtenberg burning where you use electricity to create this cool lightning like burns across wood. Problem is, it's extremely dangerous. There has already been at least one person who died trying to do it probably more and I only remember hearing of one specifically. There's a ton of videos of everyday people doing this, but if you slip up just slightly, you're gonna electrocute yourself. Lead paint and pipes. People have largely forgotten about it, but it is still hugely damaging HTTPS the conversation. Con lead from old paint and pipes is still a harmful and deadly hazard in millions of us homes 218,021. All those craft channels where people take 60s furniture and just casually strip paint off with no protection. It's horrifying. Not to mention the amount of dinnerware and mugs still out there with lead-based glazes. Hot liquids. I've had multiple friends end up in the hospital with gigantic scalding injuries because they were careless or not quite careful enough around hot water or oil. Pom size to be potentially very dangerous. And if you spill a whole kettle full of boiling water over yourself, you can easily get it on like 20 to 30 of your body, which can be fatal if untreated. I guess people themselves. I always felt people including me think they are doing normal things or behaving and doing things to others a certain way as personally acceptable and conventional. That that for most cases happens to be against grounds of general morality and humanity, which is a very disturbing thing for someone if they get stuck with it for longer time like through relationships. Just breathing in dust long term can really fuck up your lungs, especially if it's occupational. Bakers can get flower lung. Wood workers can get cancers and respiratory disease. People that work on dusty trails. Oh, another fun dust-based hazard is flammable dust like in a grain facility. It can build up and then a spark can make it all ignite at one's literally deadly carbohydrates, haha. -ha. My toes, they're really big. Have you seen them? Of course you haven't. I haven't been outside in 70 years. But my toes are really big, like Snorlax big like Koseo Big. I was told by the FBI not to walk, or I would create an earthquake. Remember the earthquake in Taiwan? Yeah. That was me walking to go to the bathroom. So basically what I'm saying is that water is pretty dangerous. 
the area from the corners of your mouth to the bridge of your nose is known as the triangle of death and you should avoid popping any pimples in this area due to the connectivity proximity with the brain an infection of that area can lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis CST or a blood clot in your cavernous sinuses. If you have a zit in that area, leave it alone. Air is very dangerous, especially when going at such a high speed in the car. If you do not believe me, look up the 1999 Mercedes-Benz incident at Le Mans. That thing had next to no downforce or lip in the front and all of it was being used for the spoiler in its back. That pushed the car down just enough to do three somersaults in the air before crashing off track. Escalators. The torque produced to lift dozens of people and their luggage will not stop for your limbs. Watch your kids. Carry your pets. Don't be distracted. There are emergency stop buttons at the top and bottom. If you see a problem such as a person falling or loose metal or glass, use the button. Better delayed than traumatized, maimed or dead. I cannot get my head around people's nonchalant views on general anesthesia and its use for elective cosmetic surgery. We don't even totally understand how or why it works. My son had to have it for surgery as a child, and the rabbit hole I dove into is kinda surprising. I've never had to be under and couldn't imagine electing to do it. Someone already said, water current and waterfalls but also drinking too much of it in a short amount of time. I live in the desert and we get tourists that drink tons of water, but no electrolytes. They need a sports drink to rehydrate themselves. People have died from drinking too much water in a short period of time. Dihydrogen monoxide, absolutely lethal when you breath it. It disables all electronics immediately and irreparably oxidizes most metals. Yes, it is everywhere. It has been detected to be in most foods and beverages and research has shown the human body is often saturated with large concentrations of the stuff. Driving, you're moving at a high rate of speed in a steel machine weighing thousands of pounds. Even if you're a safe driver you have a bunch of people around you who might not be. After working at a liquor store there's also a lot more people drinking and driving at every hour of the day than I expected. Riding electric scooters. I see people zipping around my city every day easily pushing 25-30 miles per hour with no helmet, no pads, no gloves, wearing flip-flops or slip-on nothing shoes. People apparently don't realize how badly knees, elbows, hands, feet and heads get fucked up hitting pavement going that fast. Quading or for wheeling. These vehicles threw some forest or some shit, only to end up overturning them and causing one of them to have a brain injury so bad the docs have to ask the family their thoughts on organ donation. Holding your breath to see how far you can swim underwater. Especially if you hyperventilate first. Your body uses your CO to level, not your blood oxygen level to tell you when to breathe. And if it drops to low you pass out and die. Driving sleep apnea should not be legal. My dad has sleep apnea and almost drove me and him into a ditch when we were younger. Did not find out he had sleep apnea until like a decade later. Apparently he only sleeps like 10 of the night or something. But he's still allowed to drive. Ladders. People use them every day without even thinking about what they are and how to use them. It's a statistical fact that the most injuries happen between 6 and 10 feet and happen on a ladder. There are so many deaths and injuries that they made a whole month ladder safety month. Benzos and alcohol went from hay. This feels great to waking up back home with one vague memory of my parents in their 70s. With me in Anna, I had apparently attempted to walk to get more booze and fell off a six-inch step in front of my own apartments and hit my head. Driving, travelling by automobile, having been in couple bad accidents and being a first responder. Do not take your safety for granted. Shit happens all the time. If there were markers for every place a person has died or been severely injured, you would be terrified. I don't think people understand how scary brain aneurysms are. Quarter I believe of people die within 24 hours of rupture. 
the next stage will die from complications after surgery. And if you're fortunate enough to survive the next stage is permanent brain damage. Definitely alcohol. Nurse here most people don't realise the damage even to drinks a day does to your mind body. I've seen so many patients in their early 40s with liver disease. It can be a silent killer, and many don't realise how bad it is until it's pretty far gone. Burning so-called natural gas in your home. It is linked strongly to being a cause of childhood asthma and releases a whole host of known carcinogenic gases, including benzene when burned. I can't wait to be able to afford to get that shit out of my house. Digging holes at the beach. I can't tell you how many tourists I see digging holes at the beach. These often can collapse and bury you alive. Lots of times a bunch of adults dig a hole and then the kids go play in it only to be buried under feet of sand. With the way some of these motherfuckers are driving, they probably don't realise or have forgotten how dangerous cars and motorcycles are due to familiarity, especially motorcyclists. Those fuckers drive like they'll just respawn after three days like Jesus. Mountains, specifically going hiking in the mountains. I recently climbed Snowdon in Wales, and there were hundreds of people up there who were clearly inexperienced. People don't realise how quickly a fun hike can turn into someone's death. Being in a relationship with a narcissist. Being in a relationship where you're constantly being gaslighted. These make even the strongest and most confident people develop self-esteem issues and doubt everything they say or do.